South Carolina. Okay. Now, everybody, want to do one more thing. Make sure we get the sound check right. One more time. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. Okay. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. Thank you. Thank you, Juliet. You didn't have to say slaughtered. I was trying to be nice and say we got destroyed, but you had to say slaughtered. <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all good. Listen, you win some, but you live. You live to see another day. Ain't that what Pop said? That's what Pop said. You live to see another day. Okay? And everybody, I'm only going to be before you probably for about a cool hour hour and 30 minutes all right so give me about an hour and 30 minutes of your time okay give me about an hour and 30 minutes of your time i'm only gonna be before you that long and we're gonna be good to go the cowboys robbed the detroit Lions, so that's just karma get out of here Juwan. <laughs> get out of here okay so everybody if you don't know by now my name is christopher jackson some of you probably saw me uh some of you probably saw me on the ad some of you probably saw me in a uh somewhere on Instagram or Facebook, you guys see me somewhere, and you decided to take some time out of your day to come see what this guy with the gray hair is talking about, right? Okay, so listen, everybody, before I get started, everyone, this is my real hair, okay? This is my real hair, all right? I just want you guys to know this is my real hair. This is not, I did not dye my hair. I am gray, right? I have a head full of gray hair. I am gray, all right? I have my first strand of gray hair probably around... Uh, 14, 15 years old, got my first strand of gray hair. Okay, so yes, this is my real gray hair. It's not dyed, all right? Okay, so that's out the way. Everybody always say, man, you dye your hair, you just dye your hair. Like, nah, not dye my hair, okay? Second thing is this, all right? Tonight, everybody, we are going to go over a lot, okay? We're going to go over a lot. I'm not going to waste your time. Okay, what I need from you, everybody, I need you to focus in on this presentation. Okay, when I say presentation, because I'm about to present to you what stock option trading, uh, stock option trading is. I'm going to start showing you how you can wake up every single morning and make 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000 dollar days. Right? I want to show this to you, and it's not easy. I'm going to start off by saying it right now. It's not easy. If you think this is a get-rich-quick scheme, if you think that you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and you're going to be making thousands and thousands of dollars a day just because you came to this webinar, you might as well just leave now because that's not how it works. Trading stock options is something that you can do every single day for the rest of your life. Let me say that one more time. Trading stock options is something that you can do every single day for the rest of your life. And if you can do this every single day for the rest of your life, what does that mean? What does that mean if you can do this every single day for the rest of your life? It means that you should at least put the effort in to understand exactly what's going on. Okay? So once again, I'm not going to sell you a dream. I'm not going to sell you hope. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm not going to tell you you're going to be a millionaire. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to make $100,000. I'm not telling you that. But I'm telling you this, if you sit down and you learn this skill set, it will change your life. You will never have to worry about paying another mortgage payment. You won't have to worry about paying a light bill, a phone bill, gas bill, car payment. None of those things will be things that you worry about on your day-to-day -day living activities. No longer, if you are this person, you're going to sleep thinking about how the bill is going to get paid. Those things are done with and over with, if you're that person. No longer will you have to be that person to work 10, 15, 20 year, uh, hours of overtime just to make ends meet uh, if you're that person. This is what I'm telling you you can do. I'm not telling you you're going to be a million dollar trader. I'm not telling you you're going to make 30, 40, 50,000 one day. I'm not telling you that and I'm not going to sell you a dream. If you're looking for somebody to sell you a dream, I'm not going to sell it to you so you might as well just leave now. Okay? Y'all with me? If you're with me, put one in the chat. If you're with me, put a one in the chat. If you're with me, if you're with me put a one in the chat. If you're with me, put a one in the chat. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Okay? I'm going to, I'm truly, I'm truly going to break it down to you. I'm going to put it in the simplest form, simplest form for you. Okay? So when I say the simplest form, I break the entire stock market down using R&B music and your personal relationships. If you're on Instagram right now and you want to see my screen on Instagram, type the word join in and I'm going to send you the link to join. 
If you're on Instagram and you want to see my screen, you want to join the actual web the webinar, type join in if you're on Instagram, and I will send you the link to your DMs for you to join into the webinar. Okay? All right. Now, you know what? I'm ready to get started. Okay, I'm ready to get started. Last thing I want you to do, everybody, in the chat right now, if you're ready to learn this skill set, skill set, put in the chat the word commit. Okay, I want you to put in the chat the word commit. The word commit, we're committing to learning this skill set. Everybody, this skill set can change your life. This skill set can be the reason you wake up every single morning. This skill set will literally bring back everything that went dormant, all the dreams that went dormant in your life. This skill set right here can bring all of those skills, all of those dreams back. Think about when you was a child sitting there, sitting on the front porch or fantasizing about your future life. You say, oh, I want to go here. I want to go to Africa, Paris, all these different places. But when you became an adult, what happened? All those dreams went out the window because now it's time for you to start paying bills. My Instagram is at cjack130, at cjack130. So those dreams that you were dreaming about, when you was a child, when you start trading stock options and you make your first hundred dollars, you're going to say, holy crap. <laughs> you're going to say, holy, you're going to say, holy crap. There's no way in the world. I just made a hundred dollars literally at my laptop. I made a hundred dollars in 15, 20 minutes. Then you can make your first $500 a day. You're going to say, holy crap. I literally just made $500 at my laptop. While I'm at my full-time job. And then you're going to pass that baton and you're going to make that first thousand dollar day. Everybody, when you make that first thousand dollar day, you're going to feel like you just robbed somebody and you're waiting for the police to come pick you up. <laughs> okay? That's what you're going to feel like because you're going to say, there's no way in the world. There's no way in the world I literally just made $1,000 trading stock options. That's what you're going to say. And you're going to see that money in your account. You're going to be like, holy crap. And what you're going to want to do, what you're going to want to do, and this is what you're going to find out. At that particular moment, everybody, what I'm telling you right now, I'm giving y'all, this is the most, this is valuable what I'm, about, what I'm telling you right now. When you make that first $1,000, the next thing that's going to come in your mind is you want to make $100,000. You're going to say, I made $1,000. Now I'll make $100,000. So what you're going to do is you're going to start trading, trading more, trading more, not taking $500, not taking $300, not taking $600. You want to try to get to $1,000 every single day. And next thing you know, you're going to start losing. You're going to start losing. You're going to start losing. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. And 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 you're going to lose. The reason why you're going to lose is because now, now you're being greedy, right? You're being greedy and you want it and you want it so bad that you're going to stop thinking about, I just made $500 in 15 minutes. I just made $500 in 15 minutes. You're going to say, I want to make $1,000. Right then and there, you're going to start losing your money. Right then and there, you're going to start losing your money. But if you're that person that says, okay, I'm happy with my 300. I'm happy with my 200. I'm happy with my 400. I'm happy with my 150. I'm happy with my 50. I'm happy with my 600. I'm happy with my 500. Oh, I made 2,000 this day? Great. Go back to making 300. Go back to making 200, 400. That person right there is going to be a successful trader because they're going to piece it all together. They're not looking for the home run every time. They get in, getting out, and going by their business. Everybody, I'm telling you something from experience. When I made my first couple of dollars, I wanted to make $100,000 so bad for no reason. I was up $4,000 in 25 minutes trading live one time. Everybody's watching me. I was up $4,000 in 25 minutes a while, a long time ago, actually, right? I told myself when I said on live, I do not want to take this $4,000. I want to make $10,000. Do you see the stupidity that had that I was in? I was saying you can keep $4,000. I don't want it. I want $10,000. So I stayed in that trade a little bit longer. And guess what happened? At the end of the day, I made, or let me say, I lost $10,000. 
$3,752. Let me say it again. I lost $3,752 when I was up $4,000 in 25 minutes. Everybody, this is a skill set where the money is going to come. But I'm going to tell you again, if you think, if you think, if you think, if you think, if you think this is an overnight success thing, you're in the wrong room. If you think you've become a millionaire overnight, you're in the wrong room. Okay? But anyway, let's jump to it. Y'all ready? You ready, everybody? If you ready, put a one in the chat. If you ready, put a one in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you ready, put a one in the chat. Let's go. All right. I say Lucy's here. The man here. Elijah. Mal okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank y'all for letting me know y'all here. I really do appreciate it. Check this out. Let's get into it, everybody. I'm excited. I'm ready to start this thing. Let's get into it. I'm about to show you guys about some stock options. But before we start, I want to introduce myself to you so you can kind of know who you're, uh, so you know who you're actually learning from. Okay. I always tell people before you start learning from anyone, do your due diligence. Before you start asking anybody to teach you something, do your due diligence. Okay. Do your due diligence, all right? So what are we gonna learn today, everybody? I'm going to show you how to make additional income trading stock options while still working your full-time job, everybody. Everyone, I have, what you're gonna find in a moment is, I have a full-time job. I have a full-time job and I trade stock options. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, okay? All right, now let's keep going, all right? So after this, after this class is over, okay? After this class is over, tomorrow morning when you wake up, when you wake up, your alarm clock goes off, you get out of the bed, start getting your kids ready for school. I want you to think about this tomorrow morning. I want it to be in, the, in your head where it says, man, that guy with the gray hair was talking about trading stock options, making $100 a day, $200 a day trading stock options. While you at work, that's something I believe I can do. Because once you say, okay, I think I can do it, I believe I can do it, now you're on the right page. You can start trying to learn how to do the skill set, okay? And if you stay to the end, everybody, I'm giving away probably about $100 tonight. Probably around $100 tonight if you stay to the end. I'm going to give that away as well, okay? All right, everybody. Let's jump to it, okay? So, who am I, right? My name is Christopher Jackson. Like I said previously, I'm a man of the Most High. I love the Most High. That's why you always see me saying all praise to the Most High at the end of everything I say or anything I see or post. You see all praise to the Most High, right? All right, and I'm a husband, okay? I'm a father of five, everybody. I have five kids, all right? My last name is Jackson. I have five kids. That means I am officially the Jackson Five, all right? So I got the Jackson Five, and I'm Joe Jackson minus the Beatons, okay? I'm Joe Jackson minus the Beatons, everybody. So I got five beautiful kids, man. I love them to death, all right? I work a full-time job, so currently I'm a senior vice president at a Fortune 500 company, everybody. I'm a senior vice president at a Fortune 500 company. So this is why I can show you how to trade stock options while working a full-time job because I currently have a full-time job, all right? I'm still on the clock, okay? I'm still on the clock, all right? I'm a former vice president at Wells Fargo and Bank of America. I worked at Wells Fargo before and Bank of America as a vice president, all right? And uh, I currently have a stock option trading program well, my students have made well over five hundred thousand dollars in gains, and that number is actually a million, right around a million dollars now. So, uh, yeah, they're doing all right, doing all right for themselves. Okay, so that's a little bit about me, and I want to talk about a little bit more things about me. Right, a few of the things about me I've done, some things I've done right in life. Right, some things I've done right in life was like marrying this beautiful lady on the screen right now. This is my beautiful wife. Marrying her is probably one of the best things I've done in my life, right? And one thing that I'm so proud of and I'm happy of is uh, I retired my wife. I'm not going to say I retired my wife. My wife and I, we retired her, okay? We retired my wife and uh, she's a school teacher. She's a school teacher and now she has her own business. She's, uh, what you doing? She was a school teacher. Now she has her own business called Inner Rose Aesthetics, where she focused on uh, skincare treatment. So shout out to my wife. We actually had the opportunity to retire her so she don't have to go back to that school system. She said the kids wasn't bad. It was actually the administrators who were bad. Okay. 
So that's one of the things I've done right in life, right? Another thing I've done right in life is these baby kids right here on the screen, everybody. Yes, I have five of them. They're baby kids, okay? This girl right here, this is my 16-year-old Rainy Jackson. This guy right here, this is my Noah Smoa. And this dude right here is my Asher Dasher, Lasher Rasher. And this guy right here is Sepio, okay? And we got one more that's five months right now. Let me hold him. Let me see him. He's five months right now. This guy right here in the screen. Say what's up, man. Say what's up. He's five months old. All right, that's Michael Jackson. Not Michael, okay? It, it should be Michael because Michael Jackson, five, Michael, Tito, Jermaine, the whole night, right? But Michael Jackson, and those are my kids, man, loving to death. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's crazy, okay? All right, thank you, baby. So those are the Jackson five, all right? Those are the Jackson Five. All right, now, some things I've done wrong in life, everybody. Some things I've done wrong in life. First thing first is this, everybody. In the chat right now, type in 62K. 62K. 62K in the chat right now. 62K. 62K in the chat right now. The reason why I want you to type in 62K in the chat right now is because I lost $62,000. Say that one more time with people in the back. $62,000 when I first started trading stock options, okay? Some of you all are here because you saw my ad where I said a guy, a guy that showed me in Myrtle Beach uh, told me to call him and sent my screen up and all that good stuff, right? So the thing about it, yes, all of those things happen. But the thing is, after that moment, I proceeded to lose $62,000, okay? And what I thought, what I realized was I didn't have anybody teaching me this stuff because I didn't know anything about it. Okay, I do absolutely nothing about trading stock options. Okay, so I do not want you to lose sixty-two thousand dollars. That's why I'm here. Okay. Second thing is right here on this card in this picture. That's me at the age of twenty-two years old. I had a seven forty-five BMW. Okay, seven forty-five BMW I, and I realized very, 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 very soon after soon after I bought that car that the payments were extremely too high. Uh, it became a liability because the, the maintenance was too high and I messed my credit up and all that stuff dealing with that particular car. It was horrible. Now, I was clean, right? I, I was clean. I put I had 22s on it. I used to always say I was 22 sitting on 22s. But I tell you the truth, that car was probably one of the worst decisions I ever made in my life because I did not have any financial literacy, okay? Okay? Did not have any financial literacy. Sean, Sean say, come come get when he actually starts teaching. Everybody, this is what I like. This is what I like. We always have one person I always say something about the open, right? Like, man, you start you take too long to get to start teaching. Everybody, you cannot learn anything if you don't know who you're learning from. This is why I tell people, you cannot learn anything if you don't know who you're learning from. Because I personally would not go into any any place. And learn something from someone I have no I have no idea about. So Sean, bear with me, my guy. Bear with me, Sean. Be patient. And in this, and in this, when you're trading stock options, trading stock options is about being patient. Being patient, waiting for your play to happen. Once you see your play, get into your play. Know when to get out of your play. All of that takes patience. But if you can't sit here for 15 minutes or 30 minutes, I have a long to take for me to give a small opening, brother, you don't need to trade stock options. I'm going to tell you that now. You should really probably just leave the webinar now because you got to understand trading stock options, you don't control the market. The market is in control and you have to be patient and wait for it. It's your opportunity to be successful. All right? So let's keep going. All right? Let's keep going. Now, Things I want you to understand. Things I want you to know for a fact. Everybody, three things, okay? The first thing is this, everybody. You cannot learn how to trade stock options on YouTube. Okay? You will not learn how to trade stock options on YouTube. YouTube is great for some pointers and things of that nature. But you can't get the full the full understanding or the full play off of YouTube, everybody. That's how I lost $62,000. I used to, I probably watched 50 million YouTube videos and each video told me something different about the same thing and I was completely lost, okay? So I'll tell you this, everybody, learn from someone, 
okay? Learn from someone, all right? People try to take the short a shortcut, right? Everybody, you're not going to make a million dollars in one day trading stock options. Over the course of time, can you make a million dollars by building your trading portfolio, all of those things? Yes, you can. Will you make it in one day? No, you will not. Okay? But can you pay your mortgage? Yes, you can. Can you pay your car payment? Yes, you can. Light bill, gas bill, phone bill, daycare? Yes, you can. Okay? And the last thing I want everyone to watch out for is this, everybody. Somebody tell you, hey, I have a Discord. Come into my Discord, and I'm going, and you can copy my plays. Run, everybody. Run as fast as possible. Now, if they say they have a Discord, and they're going to give you a course with it, by all means, take that, because they're giving you education. But if someone say, hey, come to my Discord, I'm going, you can copy all of my trades, everybody, that is the, that is the fastest way to lose all your money, okay? I'm going to teach you how to fish, so you can eat if I'm there or not. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, everybody. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Okay? All right. The four things that we're going to talk about tonight, okay? The four fears. Now, I talk to people about stock options all day, every day. That's what I do. We have conversations all day, every day. And I talk, and it's four fears that we always hear. Okay? The first one is not enough time to watch the market. Okay? The second fear is afraid to lose all of your money. The third one Fear the market is too complicated. And the fourth one, not enough capital to start with. Everybody always think you got to have $25,000 to start, $20,000 to start. Like, no, you do not need that much money to start. You can start with $100, $200, $300, $50, whatever you want to start with, you can start with. Okay? So I'm going to break all these four. I'm going to break these four fears down for you over the course of this uh, master class. Okay? All right. If y'all ready, put the chat ready. Let's go. Let's go. If you're ready, put in the chat ready. If you're ready, put in the chat ready, okay? Let's get started. Now, this is what we're about to do, okay? I'm going to break down why when people say they do not have enough time to watch the market, I like to say, well, this is not for you. And the reason why I say this is not for them is because of this. You do not have to sit there and watch the market all day, okay? I don't like excuses. I told everybody, listen, I got five kids, right? Four of, four of them are under the age of seven. Four are under the age of seven, okay? So I'm going to show you guys my best month that I ever had. And I'm going to use this as a reason to show you why you do have enough time to watch the market. I made 30 plus thousand dollars, almost $40,000 one month, uh, close to the end of 2022, right? Trading stock options. That's my best month I've ever had, like thirty-five dollars to $40,000 in one month. That's the best month I ever had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into my actual trading account, my live, my live trading account and show you guys my account and show you that 30 day stretch that I went on. And then from there, I'm going to tell you, hey, listen, I did this when I was doing X, Y, Z. OK. Yeah, Tracy, four, four under the age of seven. All right. So listen, not enough time to watch the market. Let's get into it. OK. So October, November, October to November 2022, I made over $30,000 working a full-time job and traveling at the same time. So me and my wife was in the LA. We was in that. So we were from uh, South Carolina. We had traveled to LA, went to a Lakers game. We had went down to Tampa, Florida, me and my family. We had went to Atlanta, then back to Charlotte. And I was working my full-time job. And I was in and out of uh, a conference at the same time while trading stock options. I made $30,000 that month. And my kids was with me when I was at a couple of those locations. All profit, Kenny. All profit. All profit. That's all profit, Kenny. And I'm about to break it down to and show it to you now. Okay? Let's go. So, I'm going to take you into my screen. All right? So, you guys can see my actual screen. One second. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, everybody. So this is my actual trading account. 
my actual trading back office is right here, okay? And you can see that you see my, the dates and the times are moving. The dates, the times, the numbers, all that stuff is moving. So you can know this is a real account. It's in, it was a real account. It's interactive, okay? So look right here, everybody. This says Thursday, October 20th. I had $7,300 in my account, okay? So October 20th, I had $7,300 in my account, and I was in. I was starting off in Los Angeles, went to Atlanta, I mean, went to Tampa with my family, took my aunt down there to watch the kids. I was in a conference. I was in Atlanta, all these different places. At the same time, working a full-time job. Still at my full-time job working, doing all, this, doing all this stuff. On and off of airplanes, all that stuff, and I did this over the next 30 days, everybody. Watch this. October 20th, look at this account. Now watch my account value start going up. I had $7,360. October 21st, I had $10,000. October 24th, $13,600. October 25th, $13,700. October the 26th, $15,200. October 27th, $23,000. Thousand dollars, everybody. I literally took my account from seventy three hundred to twenty three thousand dollars in seven days. Seven days, everybody. Crazy. Seven days, and remember, remember, I was not at home sitting at my computer just looking around. No, I was at I was in L.A., Atlanta, Tampa, working a full time job. On this plane, on that plane, going back and forth. This is a busy 30 days for me. Okay? Let's keep going. So October 27th, $23,400 in my account. I started with $7,000 in that account. Okay? That's like a, what, $16,000 increase in seven days? So I made $16,000 in seven days. Okay? All right, let's keep going. October 28th, my account balance is $22,400. October 31st, $19,900. In November the 1st, my account has $18,200. Well, Chris, you may say, your account went down. Yes, it did, everybody. It went down by $5,000. So from October 27th to November the 1st, three trading days, I lost $5,000. Everybody, if someone tells you that you will not lose money trading stock options, you should run away as fast as possible, point blank, period. Done, done, did it. Run away as fast as possible because you will not win every single time you trade. You will have some losses. The goal is to minimize your losses and maximize, maximize your gains, okay? So let's keep going. Now, everybody, lock in, okay? Lock in. So on this next run I'm about to take you guys on, I went crazy. Like, I literally feel like I was I feel like I was the best trader ever. I'm like, I can't lose. Everything I do is a win. I felt so good. Check this out, everybody. So November the 1st, my account value is $18,200. November the 2nd, 20500 November the 3rd, 21500 November the 4th, 22200 November the 7th, 26000 November the 8th, 27700 November 9th, 28300 November the 10th, 30300 November the 11th, 31800 And November the 14th, $33,126.22. Got to be more careful, but I went on a crazy run. Listen, everybody, when you experience a run like that, you just feel amazing. You feel amazing. Everybody, that was crazy. That account went from $18,000 to uh, $33,000. Crazy. All right, and it started, remember, on October 20th with $7,000, and it went all the way to $33,000. All the way to $33,000. Crazy. Now, I hear some people already saying it. Well, Chris, you started with $7,000 in your account. I don't have $7,000 to start with. Let me ask you guys this question. If you would have started with $700, you would have made $3,300. We made the same amount of money. We made the same ROI, return on our investment. If you start off with 500, you'd have made about what? 3,000. 
It's not about how much money you start with. It's about the return on your investment, okay? The return on your investment. All right, let's keep going. So now, my account balance on November 14th was $33,126.22. November the 15th, my account balance is $8,900. Hmm, that don't sound right. Chris, did you lose all that money in one day? No, I did not lose all of that money in one day, but I did lose $5,000 in one day, okay? I lost $5,000 in one day, and then I had a conversation, a real conversation with myself. I said, self, I said, self, and self said, yes, self, you, what, you just took your account from $7,000 to $33,000. That's amazing. Now, you're right. That is amazing. All praise to the most high. But then you go and lose $5,000 in one day. Day. Was that smart? No, it wasn't smart at all. So what should you do? So what I did was I took out $20,000. Okay? I took out $20,000. All right? Now, when I took out that $20,000, I was going to actually invest in some real estate or something like that. But my daughter was turning 16 and she needed a car. Or well, 15 times, 16, whatever time age she was turning. And she needed a car. So I bought her a car for Christmas, okay? So I took $20,000 out when I bought my daughter a car. Let me say it one more time. Let me say it one more time so you guys can get it. I took $20,000 out, out of my trading account that I made in less than 20 days. I took $20,000 out and I went and bought my daughter a car for Christmas. I didn't have to get a car loan. I didn't have to save up for, save up for it. I didn't have to... Uh, I didn't have to rob Peter to pay Paul to do it. Why? Because I'm smarter than the average person? No. All because I understand a skill set. And using this skill set, I was able to make over $30,000 in a 30 days time frame. Now, think about this, everybody. Think about if your kids are in college. And their tuition is $20,000 for the year. I literally made tuition for a whole college year. In 20 days. Think about this, what I'm saying, everybody. It does not take a rocket scientist to trade stock option. What it takes is, it takes a person willing to put the work in. And if you're not willing to put the work in, you're honestly wasting your time on this webinar. Just being completely honest with you. I'm a straight shooter, everybody. Straight shooter. Okay? And I don't want I don't like when people waste their time. Okay? So, let's keep it going, though. So as you can see, I took the twenty thousand, I lost five thousand, I took the twenty thousand dollars out. Now my account value is based at eighty nine hundred dollars. So what did I do? Got right back to it. November the fifteenth, my account value says eighty nine hundred. November the sixteenth, my account value says ninety five hundred. November the seventeenth, my account value says fifteen thousand six hundred. And November the eighteenth, my account value says eighteen thousand seven hundred and six dollars. Everybody. I went right back to it and kept going and going and going and going and going. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Nothing changed at all. Nothing changed at all. Nothing changed at all. Okay? What I learned, what, and, and the reason why, everybody, I, don't, I try to trade with less than $10,000 at all times because I realize when I try to trade with more money, uh, there's something inside of me that say risk it all, <laughs> and, and I go, I go, I, I trade, I, I definitely go hard. I definitely put too much money, <laughs> put it like that. Okay, so everybody, that's the first fear. So I want you guys to understand this. Okay, I want you to understand. You do not. Once again, you do not have to sit in front of this computer every single day to try to trade stock options. Okay. There's so many different ways you can do it, all right? So many different ways you can do it, okay? Now, second fear is this. People are afraid to lose their money. I get it. I it, Trust me. I get the fact that people are afraid to lose their money, okay? But what I'm going to do right now is this. I'm going to show you ways that you do not have to lose all your money or you can control how much money you lose and how much money you make and all of those things. It's called practicing risk management. And we have this thing called a stop loss, everybody. A stop loss. And what a stop loss is, is this. If you tell the system, hey system, I'm only willing 
to lose, let's say, $30 today. On this trade, I only want to lose $30. You can go into the system and tell the system, hey, I only want to lose $30. And you tell the system that, and the system will say, okay, you're only going to lose roughly around $30. And boom, there you have it. Okay? And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you into the system. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, okay? So let me show you guys something. Let me take you into my screen and let me show you this. Okay? This is called setting up a stop loss. All right. One second. All right. Everyone can see my screen now? Everyone can see my screen? <laughs> All right, everybody, this is what we call TD Ameritrade Thinker. So I'm basically Charles Schwab now, Think or Swim. This is your platform, okay? This is going to be your platform moving forward. This is where you're going to come and you're going to sit down and you're going to learn. You're going to make hundreds to 200s to 300s to $400 days trading stock options, everybody, okay? This is where you're going to do with it, all right? And what I want to do is... I want to show you how you can actually not lose all your money, okay? One second, let me grab that. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boom, we're in the game. And we want to go to zero nine. Yeah, that'll work, boom. Okay, here we go. Okay, everybody, so right now, this is your trading platform. Get used to it. This is your workstation. In our mastermind, I walk you through the whole. I walk, I walk you through this whole, uh, this whole trading station, all that good stuff, so you guys can have access to it and understand all that good stuff. All right. So right here, everybody, I'm on a stock called SPY. It's an ETF or index called SPY. S P Y. Okay. The S and P 500 is mainly the stock that I trade 24 seven. Okay. And what it is, it's the largest 500 companies. On the New York Stock Exchange. So you got your Apples, your Amazon, your Teslas, your Microsoft, all your Googles. All of those stocks are inside of this one uh, index. Okay? Now, what I want to show you is this, everybody. I want to show you how setting a stop loss can stop you from losing all your money. Or a simple fact of being afraid to lose all your money. Okay? Because I don't want you to be afraid to lose your money. I want you to feel confident when you get into your trade. Because you have a stop loss set that's going to stop you out with a minimum loss, okay? With a minimum loss, okay? So check this out. So say, for example, right now, I just entered into this trade, okay? So I'm in a trade right now. I wanna, I'm going to zoom in. I want you guys to see something. On my screen right now, you see my charts, okay? And I'm in a trade right now. And on my right side right here, it might be hard for y'all to see, but right here on my right side, you see it got green and red numbers right here where I'm highlighting it. I'm going up and down right now on the right side. The green is how much profit you want to make, okay? The red is the, profit, the amount of money that you're willing to lose, okay? So if I come down here right now and say I only want to lose $100 in this particular trade, if I click this button right here, boom. Look what popped up on the screen. Look right there on the screen. You see right here this little line that says negative five? It says negative five stop. That's called a stop loss. So when the, whenever the market comes to this level right here, where this line is at right here, it's going to automatically stop you out with a $100 loss. So literally what I did was I got into a trade. I said I only wanted to lose $100. I pressed the button right there. Now, if this trade does not go the way I want it to go, I'm only losing $100. That's called a stop loss, everybody. That's called practicing risk management, which is the most important part when trading stock options. I can teach you whatever you want to know about trading stock options. I can teach you all that to you. But you have to make the decision to say, I'm going to practice risk management. I'm going to practice st using stop losses so I can minimize my losses and maximize my gains. Okay? 
Let's do it again. I'll show it to you again. Say I got into a trade. Boom. I'm in a trade right now. And say I only want to lose $60. I come over here. Remember, look on the screen right now. You don't see that red line right now on the screen nowhere, right? Watch this. I come over here. I say I only want to lose 60. Push this button right here. Boom. Look on the screen. There we go. Right here now we have that stop loss set. That stop loss is telling me I'm only going to lose $60 on this particular trade. I'm only risking $60. Well, Chris, what if I put $1,000 into this trade? You put $1,000 into the trade, but you're only risking $60 of that $1,000. Everybody, this is called setting a stop loss. This is called practicing risk management. Okay? This is how you not lose your money. Think about this. If you're dating somebody in a relationship, right? You're in a relationship with somebody you're dating. And you sit there and realize, hey, I like this person. I do not want to lose this person. So what do you start doing now? You start doing everything that you possibly can to not lose that person. You don't lie. You don't cheat. You don't steal. All those things. It's the same thing with a stop loss. Once you realize you do not want to lose your money. You start setting a stop loss because it protects you from losing all of your money. Okay? That's a stop loss, everybody. Okay? That's one way you can set a stop loss. Let's go over another way you can set one. Okay? Use this scenario. Probably everyone on here has a full-time job probably. Okay? Everyone on, the, on here probably has a full-time job. Okay? And you may not... Let's say it again. This is think or swim. You may not be able to watch the market at all. You may not be able to watch the market at all. Okay? Or you may say, okay, I have to, I'm about to go into a meeting or I'm about to do some, some crazy, something I'm about to do at work or my boss want to talk to me. What you can do is this, everybody. You can come over here, click this button right here and come down where it says single. Click on that and change it to TRG with brackets, okay? And you come here and you click off of that first one and you come right here and say, hey, I want to get into this trade. But when I get into this trade, I have to walk away. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to do something at work. I have to go get the kids from school. Whatever you have to do, you have to do it. But the thing about it is you want at least, you want to be in this particular trade. So what you do is you come here, you set a trigger, all right? And that triggers means once you get into your trade, the system is going to automatically trigger whatever stop loss you told it to do, okay? So if I tell the system, hey, system, I'm about to get into this trade, but when I get into this trade, I have to leave immediately. But I want you to automatically set me a 10% stop loss as soon as I enter into this trade. And the system say, okay, I'm going to do that for you. So right here, I hit this buy market, boom, I got into the trade, and immediately that stop loss, this red line right here, was set for me. Now I'm only risking 10% of whatever I invested. So if I invested $1,000, I'm only risking $100. Chris, wow, because I told the system to set a 10% stop loss. I'm only willing to lose 10%. That's it. So I'm going to ask the question again. How do you lose all of your money if you can tell the system how much money you're willing to lose? That's the question. Okay? That's the question. The reason why is because you do not set stop losses. If you do not set a stop loss, everybody, I'm telling you right here and right now, you're going to lose your money. You're going to lose your money if you do not set stop losses. Okay? Set your stop loss. All right. Now, let me give you one more way. You can, another way you can do it, okay? Now, a lot of people are saying, well, Chris, you, you definitely talking about, talking about a lot of people, a lot of people just losing money, losing money, losing money. What if I want to make some money? Okay? What if I want to make money? But what if I'm at work and I can't be around my computer, all these things, and the night before I broke the market down and I know I want to get into the play when it get to a, per a certain location, okay? 
When the stock price gets to this price, I want it to get in automatically for me, but I may not even be around. How do I do that, Chris? I'm glad you asked. Listen to me. Watch this, everybody. Say, for example, you're at work and you're bought and you're the night before, you say, hey, if the stock price gets to 458, I want to get into that trade. Even if I'm nowhere around, even if I haven't even looked at the stock market for the whole day today, if the stock price comes to 458, I want to get in and I want a 10% stop loss to automatically be set and I want a 20% profit taking level to be set. So if I put a thousand in, I'm only risking a hundred and I want to make 200. I want the system to automatically do it for me once the stock price gets to 438, 458. We can tell the system that everybody, watch this. I come here over here. I take my stop loss to 10%. I come up to the top, take my profit taking level to 20%. One second, takes to 20%. Boom, boom, boom. I come down here. Find my entry point, boom, and look at my screen, everybody. Look at my screen. You see this green line right here? This green line is telling the system, hey, system, when the stock price gets to this level, automatically buy in for me. This red line right here at the bottom is telling the system, hey, system, as soon as this green line, uh, as soon as the stock price buys in, I got a 10% stop loss right here. I'm only willing to risk 10%. And this red line up here is my profit taking level. It says, hey, as soon as this stock buys in, as soon as I make 20% profit, sell automatically for me. So now you're covered. You can be at work, be at the gym, be at the grocery store, taking care of the kids, whatever you're doing. The, the system knows to sell if I lose 10% and sell when I make 20%, whichever one happens first. So I ask the question one more time, everybody. How do you lose all of your money if you can tell the system how much money you're willing to lose? The way you lose your money, everybody, is if you do not practice risk management. Okay, you do not practice risk management. Okay, everybody, this is very important when it comes to trading. I didn't, I didn't lose sixty-two thousand dollars because I didn't understand the system or the strategy. I lost sixty-two thousand dollars. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what a stop loss was. Okay. All right. Okay. So everybody, that's a stop loss. So once again, the question, losing your money. How do you lose all your money? You lose all your money because what? You do not practice risk management. And now this is the thing about it. Now, everybody's afraid to lose their money, right? Everyone's afraid to lose their money. But out of 100 people, if 95 of them are afraid to lose their money, so they don't do nothing. But five of them do do something, right? Five of them do do something. Watch this, everybody. Watch this right quick. I'm going to skip this one right here. I'm going to go to this one. I want to show you my guy, Josh Woe. Okay? Josh Woe took my class April of 2022. April of 2022, he took my class. Okay? And this is what he said. April 22nd of 2022, he made his first trade. Look what he said. First day trading made a little profit. They didn't fulfill my order. Until an hour later. I bought it at 10.42 a.m. You the truth, Chris. He made $33. Wow. $33 is what Josh made. Okay? What in the world? Okay. $33 is what Josh made. All right? Now, let's fast forward, though. Let's fast forward five months. Five months to September 29th, and look what Josh said. Josh said, another day of profit. Another day of profit, and he made $540. $540. The question is, why did he say another day of profit? Because on September 29th, he made 540. September 28th, he, made, he said, all praise to the Most High. He made $1,000, everybody. This is five months. After he started trading, October 4th, he made 
October 5th, he made $1,090. October 6th, he made $1,200. He said a 15-minute scout. That means he was in that trade for 15 minutes and made $1,200. Got to be more careful. Everybody, some people may say, hey, how long does it take for me to be to, uh, to be a successful trader? It all depends. I've seen you make, take five to six months. I've seen people take 12 months. I've seen people take 18 months. I've seen people take two years. It's all about you. It's all about the work that you put into it. And if you're on this webinar right now, the work that you're putting into it is by simply being here right now. Because you can be anywhere watching football right now, watching the Dallas Cowboys get beat, or watching playoff football or basketball. But you're here trying to learn to better yourself. Okay? Let's keep going. Josh Rowe, another $1,000 day. He say, in and out, hope y'all green for the day. Another $1,000 day. So Josh literally went from making $33 his very first trade in April to now we in October, he making having $1,000 days. Like I told you, I'm not telling you that you're going to make a million dollars. But what I am telling you is, if you learn this skill set, Josh can pay his mortgage, his car payment, his gas bill, phone bill, light bill. But you have to learn the skill set. You have to put the work in to understand and learn the skill set. Okay? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Third fear, everybody. The market is too complicated to, un too complicated to understand. Trust me, everybody, I get it, okay? I get it. I get that the market can be complicated to understand because when I grew up, when we had our family functions, our cookouts and family reunions, we didn't talk about the stock market. We didn't talk about Apple or none of these stocks. We talked about the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. When I saw all my homeboys hanging out, chilling around, we didn't talk about the stock market. We talked about sports. We talked about rap music. We talked about all everything else that was giving us that was no benefit to us financially. We talked about it. That's what we did. So I get it when we say the market is too hard to understand because we didn't grow up in this environment. Majority of us didn't. Now as we get older in age, now we're starting to look at this market and this stuff same, seems Chinese to us. It's like, what in the world am I looking at? Like right now on my screen, right here, let me show you, right here on my screen, I'm going to show you something. Right here on my screen right now, you see these red and green candlesticks all on my screen. Nobody probably knows what those mean. It looks like Chinese to us, but everybody, those red, I look at these red and green candlesticks and it tells a beautiful love story. It tells me right now a beautiful story about what's going on in this stock market. And I want you to be able to understand that same exact thing. What that green candlestick right there means. What that red candlestick means right there. Okay? So let's break it down. All right? Let's break it down. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to jump into this lesson. We're going to start learning. Y'all ready? Is it that? Is it this one? Let's see. Let me see if it's this one. All right. Here we go. Let's jump into it, and now let's start learning. Okay? So, so far, what I've showed you guys, I've showed you, first and foremost, that you don't have to be at the front of the computer all day to learn how to trade. I mean, to be able to trade. The second thing I showed you is you, are not, you do not have to be concerned about losing all of your money as long as you set a stop loss and you practice risk management. Okay? Now what we're about to learn is I'm about to break this stock market down to you so you can understand it. I'm going to break a strategy down to you so you can understand it. Everybody, I break this market down using R&B music and your personal relationships. Let me say it again. I use R&B music, like the music, right? Love songs, okay? And your personal relationships, okay? So follow me on this part right here. Dig in close. Come in close. Put everybody out. Okay? Put everybody out. And focus in on what I'm about to show you right now. Okay? Because this is going to be a game changer. If you understand this tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're going to be on fire. You're going to I got to learn the skill set. Okay? So first and foremost, what are stocks? 
okay? What are stocks? Simple, I'm not gonna write, I'm not gonna read everything on here. I'm just gonna give you a high level overview of it. Stocks is basically this, everybody. If you own a share in a company, a share in stocks, they're in, uh, interchangeable. If you own a share in a company, that means you have ownership in that company, okay? You have ownership in that company. So for example, if you got a share of Tesla stock or a share of Nike stock or a share of Apple stock, that means you have ownership in that company, okay? And if you bought in at $100 and the value goes to $110, you've now made $10 profit. That's what a stock is, okay? All right, the stock market hours are from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays and weekends. Like, for example, on Monday, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Day, the stock market is closed, okay? But you're going to learn, you're going to start hating the weekends. Like, right now, you probably be so excited for the weekends. But come, once you start trading stock options, you're going to hate Saturdays and Sundays because you cannot trade. Trust and believe, okay? Trust and believe. So that's what a stock is, everybody. Let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. Now, what we're going to focus on, we're going to focus on stock options. So what are stock options? That's what we're going to focus on, all right? Now, this is what a stock option is. I'm going to read the technical definition, then I'm going to give you my definition, okay? The technical definition says, stock options are contracts that give the holder the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific stock at a set price within a certain time frame, okay? So I read that to you probably like, okay, Chris, I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly, you do not have any idea what I'm talking about, because that definition does not make sense, Okay? So this is what I say a stock option is. Think about this. Think about if I have a house, okay? I have a house and I see, okay? I see Sean and I say, hey, Sean, I have a house for $100,000. It's worth $100,000, Sean. And Sean, I'm going to lease this house to you for $100. And you can hold this house for two weeks. And in that two-week period, Sean, you can do whatever you want to with this house. You can rent out on Airbnb. You can have a house party like Kid and Play. Whatever you want to do with this house, Sean, you can do it. And whatever money you make from it, okay, whatever money you make from it, you get to keep it, Sean. Okay, you get to keep it, Sean. All right, so Sean, after two weeks, you either got to sell it or you have to buy it from me. So basically what I did, everybody, was I basically leased out my house to Sean and for two weeks, he can do whatever, pro or do whatever he want to with it. Sell it, rent it out, whatever. He get to keep all the money. I just want him to buy it from me within two weeks. Everybody, that's what a stock option is. Someone has an Apple stock and they say, hey, I'm going to lease this Apple stock to you for uh, a 99% discount. And you can have it for three weeks, one week, two days, six months. I don't care. But as long as you sell it before that time frame is over, we good. That's what a stock option is, everybody. We basically get to keep, we basically get to get, take ownership of someone else's possession and make money off of it. And then we can sell it whenever we get done with it. Okay? That's the beauty of it. Now, there's two types of stock options. Okay? There are two types of stock options. All right? The first stock type of stock option is this it's a call option, everybody. A call option is if we think the stock price is going up. We make money if the stock price goes up, okay? The second type of option is a put option. What's a put option? A put option is when we make, if we think the stock price is going down, we make money. Hold, pause, stop, freeze. What did you just say, Chris? I said a call option 
we make money if the stock price goes up. And a put option, we make money if the stock price goes down. So did you just say you make money if the stock price goes up or down? Yes, everybody. We don't care if the stock price goes up or if the stock price goes down. We can care less. We don't care. We make money both ways, up or down. And what I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you technical analysis and show you how to do it. Okay? That makes sense, everybody? Call option, put option. All right? Now, now let's break down some candlesticks right quick. Okay? So, previously on my screen, let me zoom in so you guys can see. All right? So, previously on my screen, when I showed, my, when I showed the actual platform, you guys saw... You guys saw when the stock price, when the candlestick was green and the candlestick was red. And you was probably like, I have no idea what this brother talking about. <laughs> okay? So let me break it down to you and let's give you the un understanding of what a green candlestick is and what a red candlestick is. Okay? Check this out. All right. So a green candlestick, everybody, this is a bullish candlestick okay a bullish candlestick means the stock price is going up it's increasing it's going up that's a bullish a bullish candlestick okay a bearish candlestick is when the stock price is going down and that's a red candlestick a red candlestick is when the stock price is decreasing going down so when you see a green candlestick that means the stock price is going up and when you see a red candlestick, that means the stock price is going down. Okay? Green is bullish. Red is bearish. All right? Let's keep going. All right? Let's break it down. Let's go deeper. Okay? Let's go deeper. All right? Let's go deeper. All right? Whenever you see a green candlestick, everyone, whenever you see a green candlestick, that means the candlestick started at the bottom of the body. The bottom of the body. And say the bottom of this body starts off at $5. Okay? It starts off at $5. Next thing you know, the stock price, people start buying in, and the stock price start going up, 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 and it comes right here to the top of the body, and it closes right here at $15. That's a green candlestick, everybody. The stock price did what? The stock price increased. The stock price went up in value. Okay? That's a green bullish candlestick. So whenever you see a green candlestick, remember, it opens at the bottom number and it closes at the top. The bottom of the body and the top of the body. It's a green candlestick. Okay? Let's keep going. Whenever you see a red candlestick, it starts at the top of the body, the top of the candlestick right here, and say it started at $15. And then next thing you know, everybody started to sell. Sell, 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 sell. Everybody's going down, 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 and boom, it comes to the bottom of the candlestick, the bottom of the body, and it closes right here at $5. Everybody, that's a bearish candlestick that the stock price is decreasing in value. Decreasing in value. Okay? A green candlestick opens at the bottom, closes at the top. A red candlestick opens at the top and closes at the bottom. That's how you find the difference between a green and a red candlestick, everybody. Okay? But that's not it. I want to go a little bit deeper on candlesticks. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay? Let's go deeper. All right? Let's go deeper. All right? Right here. Let's keep going. Boom. Now, look at this. 
First person to answer this question in the chat get $50. A green candlestick starts where? At the top of the bottom. Green candlestick starts at the top of the bottom. Green candlestick starts at the top of the bottom. This green at the top of the bottom. A green candlestick starts at the top of the bottom. Bottom, who is that? Jeremy. I think that was Jeremy won that, right? I think Jeremy was first. Let's see. No, it was Ty. It was Ty. T-Y-E, Ty. I want you to send me an email to admin at IWantKnowledge.com. You just won $50 for answering that question correctly. Okay? T-Y-E, Ty. Send me, the, send me a, your Zelle to that email address. You just won $50 for answering that question correctly. Okay? Now, everybody, a green candlestick opens right here at the bottom of the body. And good stuff, everybody asked for answering that question correctly. Okay? And say we start right here at $5. And it goes up, up, up. And it closes right here at the top of the body. And say that's 15. But somebody's probably saying, well, Chris, what's these sticks right here? These wicks and these sticks and what is this stuff right here? Okay? I'm glad you asked, everybody. This right here means the stock price came to this price point at some point in time, okay? At some point in time, the stock price came to these levels. So it started right here at $5, then it came down here and say this is $2, boom. The next thing you know, it shot all the way up here and say this is $20. And But where did it close at, everybody? It came right back down here and closed at the top of the body at $15. Everybody, this is the story of this candlestick. So now, by understanding these candlesticks, now you understand where this stock has been, and now you can have understanding of where this stock may be going based off of understanding the candlesticks. Okay? That's a green candlestick. All right? Let's go down here to the red candlestick, everybody. A red candlestick opens where? At the top of the body. And say this is $15 right here. And it closed down here at the bottom of the body. Say that's $5. Remember, we have these sticks right here, these wicks right here. The wicks basically mean at some point in time through the life cycle of this candlestick, the stock price came to this area. So it came up here and say that area is $17. Next thing you know, it fell all the way down here. Boom, boom, boom. Say that's $2. And next thing you know, people bought in some more and it closed right here at $5. Everybody, that's candlesticks. That's how you understand candlesticks, okay? Let me stop right there for a second. Everybody, put in the chat. If candlesticks make sense to you now, put a one in the chat. If candlesticks make sense to you, put a one in the chat right now. If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. I wanted to give you the understanding of a candlestick because if I go straight into the market and start teaching you things about the market and you have no idea what a candlestick is, you're going to be lost. Okay? Good stuff. I see some ones. I see some sorters. Okay. Good stuff. I like it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right? Now, let's go into a strategy that I love to use. Okay? Let's break down a strategy that I love, I love, I love to use, everybody. This strategy is based upon, based upon supply and demand. Okay? Supply and demand, everybody. This is the strategy that I love to utilize when I'm trading stock options. Okay? All right. Let's get to it. So, Juliet, you say when I say open and close... So think about this, Juliet. When you open up the ca a candlestick, opens and it closes. Okay. Say for example, one of those candlesticks 
is the five minute candlestick. A five minute candlestick, everybody, basically means this. It means that that candlestick has a life cycle of five minutes. And after five minutes, that candlestick is going to close and another one is going to reappear. Okay? So when it opens, it may open at $3. And then for five minutes, it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then when that five minute mark come, that candlestick may close at $6. And then, boom, another candlestick is going to open and do the same thing for five minutes. If it's a one hour candlestick, it's going to open it. It's going to open. Then at the end of the hour, it's going to close and it's going to open at three, close at six or whatever. Then another one's going to open. Okay. That's what that means. Hopefully that makes sense to you, Juliet. Okay. All right. So right here. Let's break something down for you. Okay. Supply and demand zones, everybody. When I tell you I love supply and demand zones, it's beautiful, okay? Because supply and demand zone shows us where the buyers are, and it shows us where the sellers are. If we know where the buyers are, we know where to buy. If we know where the sellers are, we know where to sell. This is why supply and demand zones are so important. And what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to break down one of my strategies and show it to you so you guys can have a better understanding of how you can pay that mortgage every month, that light bill, that gas bill, that phone bill every single month from trading stock options, okay? If you're ready, put a one in the chat. If you're ready, put a one in the chat. Let's go. If you're ready, put a one in the chat. It's on the system. It's on the system, uh, DeBoer. You can change from a one minute to a five minute to a 15 minute to a, a 30 minute, a one hour, a four hour, a one day candlestick to a three week candlestick to a one month candlestick. Okay? You can change it all around. It's all on the platform. And I'm going to break all of that stuff down to you in the mastermind that's coming up in February. Okay? All right. Let's so go over supply and demand zones, everybody. Okay? So, supply and demand zones. All right? I'm going to give you the technical definition, then I'm going to give you my definition, okay? I'm going to give you the technical definition, then I'm going to give you my definition, okay? The technical definition is this. Supply and demand zones are areas on a chart where the price has made a strong move and then reverse either up or down, okay? It says a demand zone is an area on the chart where buyers have stepped in and overwhelmed sellers pushing the price up, Okay? A supply zone is an area on the chart where sellers have stepped in and overwhelmed buyers, okay? Pushing the price down, okay? Now, let me give you my definition, everybody. Let me break down to you my definition on supply and demand zone, okay? So the first one, what we call a demand zone, everybody, in my world, in our trading community, we call a demand zone Big Mama's house, okay? We call a demand zone a Big Mama's house. So I want everybody to think about your grandma, right? Think about your grandmother, your Big Mama, your Mimi, your Nana, whatever y'all call them, right? Think about her for a moment, okay? So, so my grandmother, okay, my grandmother had about six boys and I think three girls. So nine kids total, all right? But whenever the boys, she had a, the boys had a special place in her heart, okay? Whenever the boys, whenever, whenever the boys actually mess up in life, they always come back to Big Mama's house, to Nana's house. And when they come back to Nana's house, to Big Mama's house, what she does is she nurses them back to health and get them prepared to go back out to the real world. So she cooked for them. She cleaned for them. She made sure they got a nice place to lay their head. She made sure it's kerosene in the kerosene here. She made sure they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She's praying for them, reading them Bible verses. She's building them back up to their strength. Okay? She's building them back up for them to be able to leave back out of the house and go back into the real world. Okay, 
So that's similar to what a demand zone is. Okay? That's similar to what a demand zone is. So when we're thinking about a demand zone, whenever the stock comes into this demand zone, whenever the stock comes into this demand zone, think about the buyers buying the stock. They keep buying the stock. They will not let the stock price fall out of this zone. They keep the stock in this zone and in this zone and in this zone. Then eventually, the stock is going to boom, take out of the zone. The same way when them when my uncles used to come to Nana's house or Big Mama's house, she would keep them up and hold them up and not let them fall. And she nursed them back to health. And then eventually, they left out of her house and went back into the real world. Okay, so look for this example. So we're gonna focus in right here. So we start off with a demand zone right here. We're in a demand zone, in a demand zone. The stock is in a demand zone. And the demand zone means there's a whole bunch of buyers right here. We got buyers. These are buyers right here in this zone. And these buyers in this zone will not let the stock price fall out of this demand zone. So boom, we're in this demand zone. The buyers are slowly buying it up. They're slowly buying it up. The longer we're in the demand zone, the stronger the move to the upside is going to be. So boom, we're in the zone. We're in the demand zone. Next thing you know, boom, the stock price takes out, off out of the demand zone. My uncles leave then their house and go back to the real world because she done cooked for them, clean for them, put kerosene in the kerosene heater. Y'all don't know about the kerosene in the kerosene heater. Y'all probably up with me. Y'all don't know about the kerosene in the kerosene heater, right? But she did all these things for a pray for them. Uh, read Bible verses, and now they have enough strength. They have enough strength to go out and face the real world. In other words, the buyers have bought up enough of this stock to push the stock price up. Okay, now let's keep going though. Watch this. Watch this now. So now, life hits again. Life hits my uncle's heart again. And now my uncles start to fall down. Down. They're going back down. Going back down. Going back down. Life is rough on my uncles. Life is rough on Nana's boys. And where do Nana's boys come to? They come knock on that door. Knocking on Nana's front door. Mama, can I come home? Boom, they come back into Big Mama's house. They come back into that demand zone. And as soon as they get into Big Mama's house, what does Big Mama do, everybody? Big Mama cook for them, clean for them, make sure they got kerosene in the kerosene heater, making sure they got a place to where they uh, put their head at at night. It's the same thing in the demand zone. As soon as the stock price comes into this demand zone, what do the buyers start to do? The buyers start to buy the stock. And buy the stock. The longer the stock is inside of the demand zone, that means the buyers are buying it up, 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 buying it up. Then boom, the stock price takes out and goes crazy to the upside. Because why? The buyers have bought in and bought in and bought in and boom, it eventually took off. When the stock price does not fall outside of that demand zone, that's the thing for you guys to understand. The buyers are buying. The buyers are buying. The buyers are buying. Think about that demand zone being your best friend. The one you can always call on when you need somebody to pick you up. No matter how much you put on their plate, they always holding you up and saying, you can make it, Chris. You can do it, Chris. You can make it, Chris. You can do it. You can do it. Hold on strong, brother. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to hold you up. I'm going to hold you up. And then, boom, take off and go. That's what that demand zone is. That's what those buyers are doing. The buyers refuse to let the stock price fall any lower. And they're trying to push that stock price back up. So boom, it takes off again. Next thing you know, my Nana's boys, my boys get into some more trouble. And they come on back. They come on back down. 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 Next thing you know, they get to that front door again. 
Knock, knock. Then they say, who is it? And they say, mom, is me. She say, come on in. And first thing she do is what? Food on the table. Clothes on their back. Kerosene in the kerosene heater. Bed to lay their head. Now I'm going to ask you guys this question. If the past two times the stock was in the demand zone, when it came into the demand zone, it shot out of the demand zone and went up. What would you expect to happen the next time the stock comes into the demand zone, everybody? Put in the chat. Put in the chat, everybody. What do you expect to happen? What do you expect to happen the next time the stock comes into the demand zone? The last two times it bounced out of the demand zone and went up. So what's different this third time? I'm expecting it to go up. So if I'm expecting it to go up, if I'm expecting for the people, the buyers to start buying the stock and for it to go up, it would behoove me not to do what? Not to buy in as well. And what do we buy in? If the stock price is, the stock price is increasing, we buy a call option, everybody. We buy a call option and the stock price for the stock price to go up and we make money as the stock price goes up because we understand the longer we're in Big Mama's house, the stronger we're going to be when we leave Big Mama's house. If this is making sense, everybody, put a one in the chat. If this demand zone is making sense, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if this is making sense. Because we have this demand zone right here. And with this demand zone, we understand the longer we're in a demand zone, what? The stronger the move out is going to be. And everybody, I utilize this strategy right here on the one hour time frame and the four hour time frame. I love it to death on the one hour and four hour. So I, I look for a one hour demand zone and a four hour demand zone. And that stock price does numbers. Now you may say, Chris, but what if it breaks through when you get into that play? If it breaks through and you get into that play, what did we talk about was fear number two? Set your stop loss, everybody. When I get into this play, I automatically have my stop loss set down here. So if it does break this demand zone and go through, I get stopped out with a minimum loss. You see how you put it all together now, everybody? You see how if Sean would have waited and if Sean would have had a little bit more patience, Sean would have got to the strategy. <laughs> You see what I'm saying, everybody? This is just one simple strategy. Let's keep going. Now, we're not done yet. Okay? Let's keep going. All right? Now, everybody, that's a demand zone. Okay? That's a demand zone. But I want to show you guys. Good stuff, Alicia. Good stuff. I want to show you guys something else. I want to show you. Something that we call Mary J. Blige. Remember, everybody, I break the I break down the entire stock market using R and B music and your personal relationships. Using R and B music and your personal relationships. Okay. Absolutely right, Willie. It's a marathon, not a race. Think about this now. A supply zone. We call a supply zone Mary J. Blige. We call a supply zone Mary J. Blige. So if I'm saying, if I happen to start saying, I'm going down. I'm going down. Because you not around, baby. My whole world's upside down. I don't know what she's saying that part of the song. I just always say, I don't know what she's saying. I don't know what she's saying on that part. But I just always say that. I don't know. I just always say that. But anyway, right? If you guys hear somebody singing that song, I'm going down. And we say Mary J. Blige. 
and we call a supply zone Mary J. Blige, it's a strong possibility that that supply zone and that it means the stock price is doing what? The stock price going down. The stock price going down. Because the buyers are not around, baby. There's a whole bunch of sellers and the stock price is going down. So everybody, we call a supply zone Mary J. Blige. And we say Mary J. Blige, everybody. That means the stock price is going down. Okay? Look right here. Let's go deeper so you can see it. Let's break it down some more. All right? So right here, we have the stock price comes into the supply zone. Boom. It comes to the supply zone. And we got Mary J. Blige. We say Mary J. Blige. Boom. The stock price in the supply zone, in the supply zone, in the supply zone, in the supply zone. Then boom. It falls down. Just like that. Next thing you know, it starts to come back up to the supply zone. Hit the supply zone again. Boom, boom, boom. Mary J, I'm going down. I'm looking for a real love. And she can't find it. No more drama. Mary J, she say, I'm going down. And boom, it falls back down. Everybody, a supply zone is basically a strong level where there's a whole bunch of sellers. And the price Every time the price comes to that supply zone, it finds it's, it finds it's very difficult to get through the supply zone. And the longer it stays in the supply zone, the harder the fall will potentially be. Now, eventually, it will definitely break the supply, the supply zone. But if it comes into the supply zone five times, right? Follow me for a second. If the stock comes into the supply zone five times, right, and four times it goes down, and one time it goes up. So you win four trades and lose one trade. I would love, I love those numbers. I would love to win every four times I win. Out of that four out of five, I win. I take that winning percentage with you. Because if it does break that supply zone, what do I have up here, everybody? I have my stop loss stopping me at a minimum loss. At a minimum loss. When the supply, when it's in the supply zone, you can, if you're in a call position, you want to leave, you want to close that out. You want to exit your position when it gets to the supply zone. Because normally in a supply zone, the price goes back down. So you want to go ahead and take your profits. When you're in a supply zone, you want to buy puts, everybody. You buy puts and say, I believe the stock price is going to go down. I believe the stock price is going to decrease. So therefore, I'm going to buy puts. Because remember, we make money if the stock price goes up. Or if the stock price goes down, we make money regardless. You got to love it. You got to love it, everybody. Okay? Now, somebody, somebody has probably put this together, right? Somebody say, holy crap, Chris, you ain't even said it yet, but I see it. So let me ask you guys this question. Remember what I said, the demand zone shows when... The stock is coming out of the demand zone and it's going up, right? Or when the when my when my uh, uncles or my nene's boys leave Big Mama's house or leave nene's house and they start going up, then they come back into nene's house. There's a reason why they come back to nene's house, everybody. And this is the part of the strategy that you're gonna love. Watch this, everybody. When we leave out of this demand zone, leave out of the demand zone, come back into the demand zone. Leave out of the demand zone, come back into the demand zone. Leave out of the demand zone. Where are we going up here, everybody? What is this that we're going to when we have to come back? 
I'm glad you asked. Everybody, we're going to a supply zone. Say what? We're going to a supply zone. So we leave the demand zone and we go to a supply zone. So once we leave the supply zone, people, where are we going? We're probably going back down to a demand zone. And then when we get back into that demand zone, we get our strength back, we come out of that demand zone and go straight back up to a what? A supply zone. And then we reject that supply zone. Where do we go? Back down to a demand zone. We go into that demand zone and we do what? We go back up to a supply zone. Mmm. Mmm. Do y'all see that? So, Chris, are you telling me if I can identify on the charts a one hour or a four hour supply zone and demand zone, I can play from the demand zone to a supply zone, from a supply zone down to a demand zone, from a demand zone back up to a supply zone, from a supply zone down to a demand zone until one of them breaks? Exactly, everybody. Exactly. Exactly. This is a this is a strategy that you're basically playing from the low point to the high, from the high back down to the low. And everything in between, you can take profits whenever you want to. But first, you have to be able to identify a supply zone and a demand zone. Once you identify those zones, now you know where to enter and you know where to exit. This is on the one hour and four hour time frames. I utilize this strategy, everybody. One hour and four hour time frames. Okay? Now, if you really hold true to this strategy, everything in between in the middle part, you don't touch. You sit back, relax, and chill for a moment, and you wait and be patient until it comes to your zone. Remember, we make money when the stock goes up and when the stock goes down. Got to be more careful. Okay? All right, everybody. That's supply and demand. If that makes sense, if it makes sense. Now, I know, it's, I know it might make sense to you, but you still might be like, oh, Chris, I understand you. I, I get it. I kind of get it. I don't get it. I, 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 I. But if the concept of what I'm talking to you about right now, if that makes sense, put a one in the chat. If the concept makes sense, put it in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. Close, Richard. It's close, Richard. It's not support and resistance. Support and resistance are one level. Uh, so, so support and resistance may be the 300 price level for support and the 310 for resistance. The supply and demand zones, the zone may be from 300 to 305. That's the demand zone. And the supply zone may be from 310 to 315. It's a zone in place. Okay? All right, good stuff. I see some ones. Good stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, everybody. Is it okay if I take about 15 more minutes of your time? 15 more minutes of your time is all I need from you. Okay? 15 more minutes of your time. I want to break down a few more things to you and we go from there. Okay? That's cool with you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that permission. I appreciate it. Let's go. Okay? So, hopefully right now, I have showed you that the market it's not too complicated to understand. You just have to literally have someone break it down to you that makes sense to you. You can go learn, you can go learn how to trade stock options from anyone. Right? But if that person, the way they break it down to you, does not resonate to you, you're not going to be able to learn it. Because somebody else may teach you supply and demand a totally different way. And you may be able to learn it. But I know the people that come and I teach, 
They want it broken down in its simplest form to a place where a third grader can understand it. And that's what I do because that's what I needed when I first started trading stock options. When I first started trading stock options, I had no idea what supply and demand was, everybody. No idea whatsoever. I'm just losing, 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 losing money and have no idea what a supply and demand zone is. Okay? So let's keep going. All right. Fear number four, not enough capital to start with. Not enough capital to start with, everybody. Check this out, okay? I want you guys to listen to what he said. He said, hey, Chris, I'm just watching your day one training from December as a refresher. After doing the training back in July, and I got to say your course and continued monthly commitment to updating those that you've trained is absolute fire. I started trading this month with $500. That's what he said. He started trading with $500. But I thought you need $25,000 to start trading. I thought you needed $20,000 or $10,000 or $5,000 or $1,000 to start trading. No, people, you do not. He said, I started with $500 with the goal of making 10% return on my investment per trade and $500 for the month. And I'm happy to say within one week, I was almost there. Keep doing what you're doing, sir. But I thought you needed $25,000 to start trading with. I thought you didn't have enough money to start trading. You don't need a lot of money to start trading, people. Now, listen to this now. This is a follow-up with him. Same person. Look what he said this time. Hey, Chris, just wanted to give you an update on things. Today, I had my first $1,000 day. To be exact, it was $1,000. $425 in 40 minutes. Stop, pause, freeze. Everybody, clap your hands, everybody. He said he made $1,425 in 40 minutes after the market opened in Amazon. Got to be more careful. He said, I only had to drop $485. Stop, pause, freeze. He only had to drop $25,000. He only had to drop $20,000. He only had to drop fifteen. dollars He only had to drop ten. dollars He only had to drop $5,000. No, everybody. He only had to drop $485. And he made $1,400. He said, so this was a great ROI. He said, I said this before and I will say it again. The fundamentals you laid out in your course is absolute fire. And I am most appreciative of the inspiration that was given to you to want to teach others how to invest in options along with the gift of being to do so with the utmost simplicity. That's what I love to hear, that last part, everybody. Him making the money was great. But I love that last part. He said you teach it with the utmost simplicity because everybody, everybody's not a technical person. I know I'm not. I need things broken down into my language where I can understand them. Meet me where I'm at and take me where I need to go. Okay? Meet me where I'm at and take me where I need to go. But you can't, you can't expect me to meet you where you are because where you are, I'm not there yet. I need someone to take me up there. And it's going, to take, it's going to take time. It's not going to be easy. But if you learn this skill set, you can do this for the rest of your life. And anything you can do for the rest of your life is worth the work. Point blank period. Point blank period. Another person, you are the truth, brother. I have never had a class like yours before. You saved me money and gave me more information than I ever heard and also make it simple enough for the average person to understand. God bless you, man. I said all praise to the most high. Listen, once again, why do I like what he said? I have heard, I have, he said, you gave me more information than I've ever heard and also make it simple enough for the average person to understand. The average person does not understand the stock market, everybody. But the average person does understand R&B music. Or the average person does understand a personal relationship where they dated somebody in the past and all these things. So if I can break the market down to you using those analogies, now you will not be the average person anymore because you understand the stock market, everybody. Okay? Now this is my guy... Uh, 
Spoon said, thanks to my boy Chris Jackson, I've taken my stock option trading account from 4K to 32K in one month. Okay? So on and so on. It's, so I don't even feel like reading all that stuff no more. Okay? So everybody, I truly hope that you guys learned something so far in this class. Okay? You probably feel you can't right now just say, oh, I'm going to open up a laptop and start trading stock options. No. Like I told you at the beginning, this takes time. And you're not going to make $1,000 tomorrow. Okay? Because it takes time. But in this class, what I hope you gained so far was this. I hope that you gained the confidence that, holy crap, I understand a candlestick now. I can pull up a chart and see this red candlestick and see this green candlestick and I know what it's actually meaning and what it's talking about. It's like the first, it's like if somebody writing hola down in Spanish and you have no idea what hola means. And then somebody breaks down the word hola to you. So now whenever you see the word hola, you know that means, hey, hello. Now when you see a green candlestick and a red candlestick, you understand, hey, this green candlestick means the stock price going up. This red candlestick means the stock price is going down. Oh, I know that much. I'm a little bit more smarter than I was the day before. Hopefully you understand now when you see a demand zone and you can draw and see a demand zone, a supply zone. Oh, we have a demand zone. And it's just sitting right there. That's Big Mama's house. That means the buyers are buying in. Or you see, oh, this is a supply zone. That's Mary J. Blige. Uh-oh, that thing might fall down. That's what I hope you gain so far. I hope tonight when you put your head on your pillow... And you wake up in the morning and you start going through your regular routine that you do every single day. You say, man, that, pre that, that class last night was crazy. It got me thinking. Can I really start making $100 a day or $200 a day or $1,000? Because if I make $100 a day, everybody, that's $25,000 a year for me. If I make $100 a day, that's $25,000 extra in my account a year. Say that one more time, Chris. If I make $100 a day, that's $25,000 a year for me. $25,000 a year. Now, you ask yourself this question, right? You don't have to respond. I just want you to, actually, I just want you to answer this question to yourself. Okay, think about this. Who can, in this world, who can you trust? It's one person in this world that you definitely can trust with everything. And that one person is yourself. You trust yourself because you've been with yourself since the day you came out the womb. Thoughts that you have in your head that nobody in the whole world will know about except for you. You trust yourself enough to know I can trust myself above anybody else. I can trust myself. So I ask you this question. Can you trust yourself to make $25,000 extra a year? Then you got to backtrack and say, can I trust myself on average to make $100 a day on average? Some days I may lose two, three hundred. Some days I might win five hundred. But on average, make $100 a day. By doing this, you're doing multiple things, everybody. I'm going to meet you where you are right now. If I listen in close, I'm going to meet you where you are. If you start making that money trading stock options, some people may use the money to pay their household bills, which is perfectly fine. They may say, I never want to have to rely on my paycheck ever again in life to pay my household bills, and that's perfectly fine. Some other people may say, man, 
Now I got 25, roughly around $25,000, you know, in my trading account. I'm going to invest long term. I'm going to buy some Tesla now. I'm going to buy some Apple. I'm going to buy some Amazon. And I'm going to hold it for 30, 40 years. So now my kids don't have to worry about starting at the first floor. And I'm going to get back to that in a second. Somebody else may say, okay, I just made $25,000. Let me trade with a little bit more money now. So now my $100 days and $200 days, now they $500 days and $600 days and $700 days. Then $1,000 days, $2,000 days, $3,000 days. And sometimes you may even have, let me show y'all this. You may even have, let me show you guys this right quick. Watch this, everybody. Just in case y'all thought we were lying. Let me show you this right quick. I'm going to say, look at this right quick. Take a look at this. This is beautiful. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. You got to love it. I love it. Look right here. Everybody. What does this say? What does that say, everybody? What does that say? That says $9,200 in one day. What day is this, everybody? This date says January the 3rd of 2024. January 3rd of 2024 at 3.30, at 3.22 p.m., JJ, he took my class back in 2022. He made $9,200. And look what he said. He said, same play, different day. He said, you do not need to trade every day. Once the trade meets your criteria, point in case, once the trade comes into your supply and demand zones, put your money in the trade. I probably won't. He said, I probably will not look at the charts again until February because he hit his monthly goal in one day. This is in our Discord chat, everybody. He hit the monthly goal in one day. One day. <laughs> hit his monthly goal in one day. Some people don't make $10,000 in a whole month. Some people don't make $10,000 in two months. Okay? Check this out. February the 5th through February, February the 5th through February 9th, I have my upcoming five-day mastermind. In my update five of my upcoming five-day mastermind, in this mastermind, what I do is I teach you how to trade stock options from A to Z. Today we went over supply, today we went over supply and demand. I'm gonna dig deeper into supply and demand. I'm gonna dig deeper into the candlesticks. We're gonna go over uh, support resistance. We're gonna go over everything that I utilize and my other traders that's in my program utilize to trade every single day in this five day mastermind. It's February the 5th through February the 9th. Okay? Let me give you some more insight. Let me use some more insight on it. One second. Okay? Now, in this mastermind, it's not a mastermind that you're going to come to. Listen to me close, everybody, because this is not for everybody. I, I'm telling you right now, this mastermind is not for everyone. The reason why it's not for everyone is because I'm going to put you to work. This is not going to be a mastermind that you come to and you're going to lollygag around and you're going to say, oh, I'm here. I'm acting like I'm learning something and you're not going to be learning anything. In this mastermind, I'm going to spend three to four hours with you every single day. Three to four hours with you every single day. Chris, what in the world do you mean you're going to spend three to four hours with us every single day? Let me explain it to you. One second. One second. Make sure I got the right thing up. Why is that doing that? Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. So 
Okay. So right here, everybody. In these five days, I'm going to show you how to make additional income trading stock options while working your full-time job. Okay? I'm going to break down February 5th through February 9th. You're going to learn a lot. <laughs> okay? JT Automation is going to be there as well. And I have also Coach, uh, Coach Snoop is going to be there. He's a guest speaker as well. Okay? The price is $297 for regular admission and $497 for VIP. I'm going to spend three to four hours with you every single day. If you do regular mission, okay? Regular mission starts at 6 p.m. and it goes to 8 p.m., okay? That's that Monday through Friday, all right? VIP, Monday through Friday, we meet from 6, feet, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Friday. So that's three hours. We have one hour of Q&A for VIP members, okay? Now, Tuesday through Friday, we're also going to meet every single morning from 11 a.m. to noon. From 11 a.m. to noon. VIP and regular admission. That's where the three to four hours come from, okay? Chris, why are we meeting so much? Why are we doing this? Everybody, I'm spending time with you because I'm going to teach you how to trade. This is not something you're going to come to for an hour and just be like, oh, I came for an hour. I know how to trade. No, you're going to have homework. We're going to set your account up for you, set your screens up for you, teach you strategies, make sure you have the understanding you need. The good thing about it is this, everybody. Some people are going to say, well, hey, Chris, what if I miss a, what if I actually miss a course, miss a class? Don't worry about it. Each class will be recorded and you will have unlimited access to the recordings forever. I'm not one of those people you pay for a class and I say you got access to the replay for 30 days. No, you have access to the replays forever. Why is that, Chris? It's because you're going to need the replays. You're going to need the replays. You're going to need to come back, sit down at home some days and go back and rewatch day one or day two or day three or day four or day five or go back and watch one of the live trading sessions and all of those things because this is a skill set, once again, everybody, that you can do every day for the rest of your life. Okay? Now, also, if you join VIP, at VIP, you get access to all future classes for absolutely free. Hear me again. If you join VIP, you get access to all of my future masterminds for absolutely free. Every single mastermind I have, you can come and just come and do whatever. You can come and learn. Even when I change things, you can come in and learn for absolutely free if you do VIP. Okay? So that's regular mission 297. VIP is 497. Everybody, this is February the 5th. Through February the uh, 9th is that mastermind. And right now on the screen, you can click that link on the screen, screen on your screen right now. On your screen, click that link and you can join the upcoming mastermind. Okay? You can join the upcoming mastermind by clicking this link, the link on the screen right now. Everybody, like I said again, this is not for everyone. It's not for everyone. This is for the individual that say, hey, listen, I believe that I can make at least $100 a day. Or I believe I can make $50 a day. Because if you make $50 a day, that's $12,000 a year. If your mortgage is $2,000 a month and you make $100 a day trading stock options, you've literally paid your mortgage every single month for the whole year. And this is the thing about it, everybody. This is not, the stock market is not a trend or a fad that's going to go away. The stock market is going to be here forever because everything around the entire world revolves around the stock market. Once you get into the stock market, you will understand. During COVID, we couldn't be six feet. We had to be six feet away from each other. But what happened during COVID? The stock market was on the most crazy, epic run ever. Pete, loved ones was dying from COVID. I lost loved ones during COVID. But the stock market kept going up, 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 up. 
and the poor got rich, the rich got wealthy, and the wealthy just made more money. But the problem is, most people wasn't in the game. If you're not in the game, you can never play the game. Okay? All right, everybody, listen. Give me five more minutes, and then we're going to get you out of here. But if you want to join the upcoming mastermind coming up February the 5th through February the 9th, space, spaces are limited. Once the spaces are filled up, that's it. We done, done, diddy. Okay, we're going to be focusing on the people that's in the mastermind and teaching them this skill set. Okay, so the link is right here right now. You can click on it to register, and uh, I'll see you definitely in the mastermind. But I want to show you guys one more thing right quick. I showed you JJ just now, right? I showed you how JJ made $9,200 trading stock options in one day. But wouldn't it be cool to understand JJ's story and show you how JJ got there? If you, if you want to know JJ's story and how he got to making $9,200 in one day, put it one in the chat and I'm going to break it down to you because it's documented. Y'all going to be like, holy crap, did this really happen? Put it one in the chat if you want to hear it. Put it one in the chat if you want to hear it. If you don't want to hear it, I won't even break it down. Okay, here they go. Do I see some ones? Yep, I see the ones. There we go. All right, let me break it down for you right quick. Okay? Let me break it down for you right quick. And I'm going to get y'all out of here. Okay, check this out with JJ. Let's find out when JJ first came into our Discord chat or when he first started trading with us. Look right here, everybody. June the 6th. Of 2022, June 6th of 2022, it says a wild JJ appeared. So he took my June class in 20, 2022, took my June class, and this is when he first started trading. Now, let me ask you guys this question. If JJ would have never started trading, trading June 2022, would JJ have made $9,200 in one day? Okay? Would he have made it in one day? No. That's about a year and a half ago he started trading. And now he's making $9,200 in one day. Okay? okay? Let's keep going. Let me take you somewhere else. So he started in June of 2022. Let me take you out somewhere right quick. One second, boom, boom, boom. Look what JJ said right here, everybody. Look what JJ said in September of 2022. One more time. Here we go, boom. All right, here we go. Look what JJ said right here, everybody. On September 20th, September 20th of 2022 at 8.07 p.m., look what JJ said. He said, just wanted to share something. Today at work, my boss congratulated me on five years being with the company. The company gave me a company pin with this logo on it and a key ring LED flashlight. He said, yeah, I accepted it, but, I, but they really showed me their hand. I felt like an idiot. Make a long story short, I got to stop trading my time for money. I'm actually letting another person dictate my life and my family's life. I pray every day to get out the rat race. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm going through the same thing as you are. How can I be the person that can't do what I want to do. I know y'all in this group don't know me from a can of paint, but I'm tired of this insanity. Everybody, did y'all just hear what JJ said on September 20th of 2022? He said on his fifth year anniversary, fifth year anniversary, his company gave him a company pin and an LED key ring 
flashlight. Gots to be more careful. After five years with a company, after you waking up early in the morning, going to putting your kids to getting your kids together, taking them to daycare, rushing up and down the highway, staying over work late, coming to work early, and they give you a key ring and an LED flashlight after five years. That's crazy, right? He said he was tired of that insanity. So look what happened. This is September 20th, 2022. Look what happened the very next day, September 21st of 2022. He said, could have made more, but jumped out of SPX puts green against the machine. He made $4,885 the very next day. The very next day. He gave himself $5,000 for his fifth year anniversary. He didn't wait on a company to give it to him. He went and got it himself. The company gave him a company pin and a key ring, LED, uh, a key ring. So he says, since the company gave me that, the next day I went out and made $5,000 in the market myself. Because he took matters into his own hand. But that's not where the buck stops, everybody. That was September 21st of 2022. I'm almost through, everybody. Give me a couple more minutes. I get long-winded sometimes. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, look what JJ said, March of 2023. Look what JJ said, March 2023. Watch this. Where is it? Is it right here? Okay, here we go, right here. Look what he said. We heard what he said September 2022. Now look what he said March 2023. He said, I'm about, this is March 15, 2023 at 11.29 a.m. He said, I'm about to put my two weeks notice in into my supervisor this Friday. I'm confident enough to become a full-time day trader. I've made more money in one day than I make in a month. I'm serious about taking my freedom back. I'm going to take that leap of faith. Then he said, the same day, he said, instead of posting my profit for the day, I'd rather say this. Thank you, Chris Jackson and the rest of you guys. I said, all praise to the most high. You deserve it, bro. And this is what he said. This is all the same day. Then this at, on March 15th at 1.47 p.m., the same day, he said, thanks, brother. I found out about you a year ago through JT Hustles. I knew nothing about the stock market. I was stuck at a job I hated. I was tired of putting me and my family in another man's hand, so I had to find a way out. I joined your class a year ago, and it took me some time to learn because I'm sort of a slow learner. But once I understood what the market was talking about, it was a game changer. I'm now able to give my family the attention they deserve. I'm now able to give my family the attention they deserve and a vacation they deserve. I can't thank you enough, brother. That last part hit, like that last part hit home. He said, I'm now able to give my family the attention they deserve. Who in here feels like they don't give their family the attention they deserve because they always on the go trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents? March 15, 2023, he quit his job. After, in September 2022, they gave him on his fifth year, they gave him an LED flashlight and a key ring. And now let's fast forward and let's see what JJ has been doing current day. Like I just showed you, on January the 3rd, 2024, he made $9,200. On January the 11th, 2024, he made $700. On December 29th, December 29th, he made $4,700. Let's keep going. On December 19th, he made $900. Let's keep going. On December 13th, he made $2,900. Must I still go on? Should I still go on? This is the same person 
that June 6, 2023, he pushed the button with June 2022, he took my, my three-day course and joined in and started listening to me, looking at me on the same screen with gray hair, talking about stock options. And then, next thing you know, March 2023, he quit his full-time job. And he just made thousands and thousands of dollars a day. Now, will everybody be JJ? No. Everybody won't be JJ. Why is that? Because JJ is smart or something? No. Because everybody won't join. Everybody won't take the risk. Everybody won't take the risk. Some people probably still saying, nah, it's too good to be true. He lying. If that's not me, it's not for you. Okay? So everybody, once again, right now on the screen, you see the offer for the five for the five-day mastermind is February the 5th through February the 9th. In that class, I'm spending time with you. I'm going to put you to work. I'm going to prepare you for the stock market. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be scary. It's going to be exciting. You're going to have the bubble guts. You're going to be ready. You're going to be interested. You're going to be confused. You're going to learn a lot, but it's going to all be worth it if you stick to it. Because our kids need to start off at the same place where everyone else starts off at. Chris, what are you talking about? Listen, everybody, when I grew up, when my dad grew up, when my mom grew up, we started all started off on the zero floor. We started at the bottom. At the bottom of the bottom, that's where we started off at. Because that's all we knew. We knew how to survive. You work two jobs to survive. You work overtime to survive. You work this, you work that, you work this to get, try to get time and a half. All these things to survive. But I want my kids, I want your kids to not have to start off on the zero floor. Your kids shouldn't have to start off on floor zero. Think about this, everybody. Say, for example, it's this building. I got this thing called the 17th floor. Okay? It's this 24 level building. Okay? And the 17th floor is where all of the other cultures start off at on the 17th floor. That's where they start off at. On the 17th floor, life is good. Life is normal. You got a few investments in the stock market. You got a nice 401k. You got a nice 9 to 5 making over $100,000 a year. Everything is great. But then there's some cultures, some people that start off on floor zero. I was one of those people who start off on floor zero. My dad was, my mom was, they start off on floor zero. And say, for example, every single year of your life, you move up a floor. So if we start off on floor zero and our goal is to get to floor 17, we got to wait 17 years. We got to work 17 hard years just to get to normal. $100,000 a year, a nice 401k. We got to work 17 years just to get to that level. But other coaches, everybody, they start off on the 17th floor. And they only have to go work for seven years to get to the top of the floors, the floor 24. Why? Do your kids and my kids have to start off on floor zero and slave like a dog just to get to floor 17? Why can't your kids start off on the, floor, on the 17th level like all the other kids? See, when the other kids start off on floor 17, they have knowledge of everything from 16 and below as well. They understand about the stock market. They understand about credit. They understand about real estate. They understand about investments. But we start off on floor zero. On floor zero, only thing they teach us is play sports. Watch the Dallas Cowboys, watch the Redskins, watch the Hornets, watch the Lakers. That's all they show us. They don't tell us about investments. They don't tell us about the stock market. They don't tell us about real estate. They don't tell us about keeping your credit good. We don't learn that stuff until we get to floor 10, 11, 12. And by then, we done messed our credit up. We don't have any money saved up. 
And we work in a job that ain't paying us nothing, but we've been there for so long and we so comfortable we didn't refuse to leave. But I said, forget all that. Screw all that. I don't want us, I don't want my kids to start there. I want my kids to start off on the 17th floor. Before they even before they even become a teenager, they should have a, they're gonna already have stock market stuff saved in the stock market. They're gonna have real estate and all that good stuff. Why? Because that's how you build generational wealth. And I don't say generational wealth lightly because it takes generations to build generational wealth. I say somebody in the family has to start now. Somebody in the family has to start now. Is that somebody you? It may be, it may not be you. If it is, let's make it happen. If it's not you, it's okay. Pass the baton to the next person. Okay? But anyway, that's enough of that. I really, truly hope you enjoyed this class. I really do hope you enjoyed this class. Okay? Stick around, everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm on YouTube a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram at cjack130. On YouTube, you can go to just type in Christopher Jackson Stock Options 101. And I'll come right up. I'm on there often, a lot. Okay? So what I want to do now is this. I want to give away $100 to somebody. I want to give away $100 to somebody. Okay? Everybody on Instagram. I'm about to sign off on Instagram. Y'all have a good one on Instagram. See y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, boom. Now, everybody else, let's go. So don't you do, everybody. To win, okay, to win the uh, $100, these are some things I need you to do. First thing first, I want everyone right now to take a picture of me. Take a picture of me and post it to your Instagram and tag me in it, okay? Take a picture and tag me in it, okay? Post a picture and tag me in it. Okay, post a picture and tag me in it. On my Instagram. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all, listen. I don't know if anybody... <laughs> If anybody here like cowboy fans and all that stuff, right? But listen, I don't know if you're on Instagram, but just go look at Stephen A. Smith Instagram. <laughs> just go look at his Instagram, man. Like he always trolled the cowboys. So you know he going like crazy right now. He going crazy. My Instagram is cjack130. At cjack130. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, I see somebody. We got Coach Goose. Coach Goose. Who is Coach Goose? I'm thinking that may be Goose Gibson. Is that you, Coach Goose? I'm a Cowboy fan too, fan too Terrell. It's rough, bro. Let's go to Thang. The Thang just signed up for, for the February class. Let's go to Thang. I look forward to working with you, bro. Okay, all right, I see Goose. Goose, I'm going to, my email is right here. Admin at I want knowledge. Admin at I want knowledge.com. Send me an email with your Zelle or your Cash App to that particular place. Yeah, we, hey, we still them boys. We're going to win the Super Bowl next year, Willie. Don't worry about it. And hey, we're going to win it next year already. We're going to win it next year. Uh, admin at IWillKnowledge.com. Okay? Send, your, uh, send it there to uh, Coach Goose, and we will take care of you. Also, Ty, I think Ty won the first $50. Send, it, send, that, send your $50 there as well. Okay? And everybody, I truly hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> definitely hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely, uh, we have these webinars every Sunday. Okay? Every Sunday we have the webinar. And then, like I say, February the 5th through February 9th is the next class. You can click the link one more time right here. Click that link to join in to the actual mastermind, which is going to be crazy. It's going to be amazing. 
And listen, I'm just glad you guys took uh, took time out of your day to come kick it and cheer with me. And hopefully you learned something, okay? Hopefully you learned something. Just hang around my Instagram, hang around my YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys go to the uh, your email and join our Facebook group as well. I go live in our Facebook group probably like three to four times a week from, from live trading and from coaching, okay? So go to that free, join that free Facebook group if you have not joined everybody, okay? Listen, all praise to the most high. You all have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. I enjoyed it. All right, YouTube, Facebook, thank y'all for kicking and chilling with me this go round. Let me see if I had questions on you. I didn't even get to look at the questions. We had questions. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know where the questions are. Okay. But anyway, listen, you all have a good one. Oh, there you go. I see y'all. Yeah, okay. Yep. Listen, everybody, you all have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. And I'll probably be on live tomorrow on Insta on, on YouTube as well. Y'all have a good one.